the Mavakasunga family. Yes. And this is, who's this? Elizabeth. And who's this? The two babies, Ella and Edward. This is Mommy. And this is Aunt Gertrude. And that's Daddy. The name of my story this morning is Christmas is Not Over. The Milwaukee Sunga family invited a lot of friends to a New Year's Eve party at their house. And Pastor Ed came with his family, Larry and Loretta, and his wife, the Sunday school teacher. And here's Pastor Ed. And Pastor Glenn came. He's not married. And the potatoes were invited, but they couldn't come because they were going to Pittsburgh to visit Uncle Pete. Now, and Uncle Floyd came and he had Barabbas and Gator. And before they came, Uncle Floyd reminded Gator, I reckon you will remember your promise. And Gator said, yes, yes, I know. There'll be a lot of giraffe legs, there'll be a lot of giraffes there, and I have promised to never, ever again eat lightly scalded, slow roasted giraffe legs. But when Gator walked in, because he's so close to the floor, it was hard not to notice all the legs there. And we, when he met the twins, Edward and Ella, he absent-mindedly <laughs> licked his chops. Uncle Floyd noticed and gave me a little bump with his foot as a reminder. The Milwaukee Christmas tree is very nice, but Gator was noticing it was kind of short for such a tall family. But that's not what surprised Gator the most about their Christmas tree. He was surprised it was still up. I mean, Uncle Floyd has taken their tree down and they packed up all the decorations and put them back in the garage. And so Gator went over to Elizabeth and quietly whispered to her, hey Elizabeth, I guess your family <coughs> didn't have time to take their Christmas tree down yet. And Elizabeth said, oh, no, no. Uh, Christmas is not over yet. That's why the tree is still up. Christmas goes on until the wise men come to the manger scene. When is that? Gator asked. Oh, well, actually, they didn't come until much later. A Sunday school teacher explained that to us, and she says that we have 12 days of Christmas, and on the last day of Christmas, January 6th, is when the wise men come. So we'll take our tree down on Tuesday. Interesting, thought Gator. Hmm. Seems like the stores and the TV thought that Christmas ended last week. I already saw Easter candy in the store. <laughs> and then, because it was 12 o'clock, they got ready to have their countdown. But it's not 12 o'clock at midnight, because that's too late for the children to be up. So they had 12 o'clock noon, and they had their countdown. And they counted backwards from 10 to 1. Help me do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, Happy New Year! And Gator thought, and Merry Christmas, too. Mrs. Mwakasanga looked around her home at all the people she loved so much, and she was so glad to have them all there. Someday, she thought, as she looked at all the little children, these children will all grow up and leave home and move to faraway places like California or France, or Virginia, or New York City, or Africa. But you know, when you grow up, no matter how far away from home you move, God will always keep you as a member of his family. And he will watch over you, no matter what comes your way. <coughs>